Continued. Sorry. Telemarketer called me. So anyway, I have the second one for me to play and the 3D print Etsy shop person made a misprint and gave it to me as well. It's missing some of the rainbow colors, but that's fine. Especially since I make my own. I'm totally going to use that. Yay! Very exciting. There's one more thing to show. And it's just kind of messy for now. But for each of the haunts, and I don't have enough little cards yet, I'll get there. I wrote out what tokens you need. And I didn't realize I was looking at a resource to double check my uh, first edition I don't own. But some of these are first edition as well. So I just kind of wrote on it in the corner if it's first or second. So like how many tokens, what colors, whatever. Do you need, do you need the numbers ones? It's cool. So these I'll eventually have just in a deck box. And I did the sleeve to make it more um, tactile so I can pick it up. I also, some of them have like codes and stuff. So to hide a card, I'll just put two little cards and an arrow that, that like shows, look inside, which is cool. We can use the book, but often like one person hogs the book, which is fine, but no one else gets to reference it. And if you have ADHD like I do, that can be a little tricky. Um, sometimes it's easier to just look at one thing and maybe say, okay, go get these things. Get one square lock and all the blue monsters for surgers, which collect like the purge, it's the surge, the ones with numbers one to nine. And that's one of the haunts. Yay, very exciting. I'm so pumped. I even wrote like paper and pen for how many. If it's the number of players, I use X for that. Just the and I even put the actual ones. Like, I have extra little marker things from other games, including just like bingo chip markers we can use. So this one you need sanity roll tokens for the number of players, then you can use a holy symbol token. I'm always all about using the extra optional token, because why not? It's too hard to remember stuff. Just have fun. And then your energy can go to taunting your opponents. Way more fun. Yay! Very exciting. All right, cool. So once I finish this little project, that'll be a nice deck boxy kind of situation. We're just like banded and put here. Very exciting. Yay, Betrayal. One of the best games in the universe. So fun. And now accessible for people like me. Yay. Thanks for listening.